Hi folks, Les here. Welcome to the Chef Prepper channel. Do you buy canned meats for your prepper pantry? If you do, I have some information in this video I think you're going to like. Where is the best place to spend your prepper dollars? I wanted to know for you guys and for us here too. So I went on a shopping trip and I went to the three most popular dollar type stores. The Family Dollar, the Dollar General, and the Dollar Tree. I also decided I would not break the bank, so to speak, for us, but I took a similar amount of money. My goal was to spend $25 at each store getting canned meats and then make a comparison to see where my money got the most for me and for you guys to have this information as well. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got at each store. Then I will give you some numbers and some figures how many grams of protein per dollar? How many calories per dollar? Which store gave me the most for my money? And here's what I got from the family dollar. Sardines, herring fillets or kipper snacks, chunk light tuna in water, Vianney sausage bites, Vianney sausage, chicken breast, mackerel, pink salmon, and it does say wild caught. More tuna, chunk tuna, but star kissed rather than uh, Family Dollar's brand, personal brand. And more chicken. And then for a little bit of variety, even though these are not cans, they are still meat, pink salmon and tuna. So altogether there were 17 products that I got. Summarized for you for the Family Dollar. Spent $24.70. That does not include taxes, and none of these figures do. Because I also was on a real shopping trip for our family, I got other things at each of the stores. I didn't include the taxes with the prices. So I just kept the prices $25 or less. Family dollar again was $24.70. I came up with 428 grams of protein, 3,780 calories. And I got those grams of protein and calories Just simply by going on the nutritional information on the cans and did the same for each store. Here is my take from the Dollar General store. Two cans of tuna, can of wild caught salmon, two cans of sardines and mustard sauce, two more cans of tuna. Those are the Clover Valley Dollar General brand. Those are star kissed. Chicken salad fully cooked roast beef, shredded chicken, and then two, two packs for a total of four of chicken meat. 15 items in total. And a quick rundown of the numbers. $24.30 for these cans of meat. A total of 587 grams of protein, 3,710 calories. And here is the Dollar Tree haul. Of course, the Dollar Tree, each item is $1, $25, 25 items. Things I got, a pack of tuna, two packs of tuna actually, sardines and water, sardines and vegetable oil, three cans of mackerel, an additional can of sardines, three cans of chunk white albacore tuna, bumblebee brand, Two more cans of mackerel, this time in tomato sauce and smaller cans. Six cans of the six cans of white chicken. And four more cans of star kissed chunk light tuna. The shells were not real full at the Dollar Tree. Not sure why that is, but they weren't. So the selection to choose from wasn't as good as in the Dollar General or the Family Dollar. But this is what they had to choose from that fit well within our household, so this is what we got. All right, the Dollar Tree notes. Again, 25 items for a total of $25. 516 grams of protein, 2,970 calories. Part of the mission for this video 
and shopping trip was to determine the best place to spend your prepper dollars. Now, all three of these stores were in the same town near where I live in eastern Kentucky. You might have different choices available at the different stores you were at. The Family Dollar and the Dollar General, the shelves were full. There was no shortage of anything. However, you will see uh, kind of a lack of choices from the Dollar Tree because the shelves were, they weren't bare, but they weren't fully stocked either. And it was that way throughout the store, not just with canned meats. So if you have a fully stocked Dollar Tree and you do a similar kind of test, the Dollar Tree might fare better. Here is the canned meats from all three stores collectively. There is the Dollar Tree, the Dollar General, and the one on the left is the Family Dollar. Now you will notice a couple of three things here perhaps. Family Dollar, I got some full packs of meat and the Dollar Tree, I got a couple. Dollar General didn't have them, or, or if they did, I didn't see them. If they would have had them and I saw them, I would have got a couple packs there also. Also, you see there's salmon from the Dollar General, salmon from the Family Dollar. The Dollar Tree did not have any salmon. Typically they do, but this time they did not. So who is the champion? If you are looking strictly for grams of protein per dollar, the Dollar General wins hands down. When it comes to calories, Family Dollar was the equal of the Dollar General. As you can see from the numbers, the Dollar Tree fell pretty short on everything. So for me, and for our house, and the things that are available in our area, I would have to declare the Dollar General store as the champion for my prepper pantry canned meat dollars. So how about you guys? Where do you find is the best place in your town to spend your money on your canned meats? And now with the Dollar General winning, becoming the champion of the dollar stores for your prepper dollars for canned meats, I got a video that I'll be uh, releasing within the next few days in which the champ will have the opportunity to take on the heavyweight champ. So if you don't want to miss how well the Dollar General stacks up against Walmart, then I'd like to ask you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you haven't already, I'd like to ask you to please hit the like button.